Welcome back to Adelaide Eternal October Legacy Challenge 2018. Uh, we're up to round three now. Um, my name is Jackson. I'm joined in the booth by Beckett today. G'day, guys. Uh, we might also be joined by a special guest, Beckett's cat. <laughs> Maybe if she, you know, chooses yep. to make an appearance. Yep. No. Co Kobe likes to have her own little input. So. She's a quality commentator, actually, and she's got a lot of ideas. They're not all necessarily about magic. Most of them they're about tuna. Yeah. But uh, you know, yeah. I think she'd like Dermag Angler, right? You know, every every commentary team has like a like a color commentator. She so plays, she plays like, fish and legacies. <laughs> for anyone who's legacy. wondering. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So today we have, uh, I believe it's Mono Red Sneak Attack versus um, Painter Servant combo. What a sick matchup, guys. Mm, so it's a, I think it's Red White Sneak, uh, sorry, Red White Painter Servant versus Mono Red. And the Mono Red list is played by Simon Hole. I believe it's designed by Luke McLaughlin. They both had heaps of um, uh, really good run last. I'm not sure. They, I think they played in our last event. You yeah. did well with it. Or I just practiced against Luke and got crushed by him. Yeah, yeah. But I seem to always get crushed by Luke. I mm. wonder what the factor is. Uh, anyway, uh, the deck's so cool. It's four Blood Moon, two Blood Sun, four Chalice of the Void. Um, so it's got, like, the locky sort of pieces. It's not running Show and Tell because, obviously, it's mono red. Yeah. Uh, so it's got four uh, Sneak Attack and four Through the Bridge. So it goes a little bit higher, but it's got all those sick lands like Ancient Tomb, City of Traders, four Lotus Petal, so he can get up there really quick. And then he's got a Trinisphere, Seething Song. Seething Song. Um, he's even got a Crystal Vein. And then the big boys are big. We've got one World Spine Worm, a Woodful Primus, three Grizzle Daddies, three Inferno Titans, two Emrakul. <laughs> I know they were playing around with that combustible gear hog, but it looks like it's been cut. Um, That's ridiculous. It's pretty funny. I mean, how often do you reckon Seething Song seen played in Legacy? Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 not sure. I mean, it's a good card. Yeah. It's like it's a, it's a good card, but yeah, it is a good card. But anyway, this is uh, Vaughn's deck's also really cool. Um, Painter Servant, you've probably seen Painter Servant mm. uh, before, but uh, this list has got like Ethersaw Canonist and stuff in the main board and Duretti Shaper Savant. So it's got and, and Smuggler's Copter. It's got to been a bit. I don't know if this is just Vaughn or if I haven't seen a servant list in a while, but it seems to be a bit a bit different or. You know, yeah. developed. It's developed from from where it was before. But basically, you want to get like Goblin Welder. Um, can keep getting back your combo, which is Painter's Servant, the card, which makes everything one color, and then Grindstone, which yep. then mills them out um, based on the color. So obviously, the, the the two of them gives you infinite mill, so you win. Um, shall okay. we get down to the games? Yeah, that sounds good. I just love the fact that they can run like, you know, six Pyroblast Red Elemental Blast effects and it's fine. Because they both can. But we're not going to see them, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's really cool, isn't it? The main board of Vaughn has got four Pyroblast, two Rebs. Um, and it works, guys. Don't freak out. It works. First of all, <laughs> it's really good versus blue decks. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you just happen to play against Miracles or something and then you're like, yeah, I run six Rebs. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes, but, makes you cry. <laughs> but, but it's not quite that narrow because Painter Servant can make any, yeah. any like it can make the things a different colour, can make them blue, uh, and then you can target them. So it makes them blue everywhere. So in their hand it's blue, in their graveyard it's blue, in the exile it's blue, it's blue everywhere. So when it's on the stack, you can rev it. Um, but uh, what was it? I was thinking it's Vaughn and he named Green off the Painter Servant. I was like, what? why is he running Green? Yeah. And I couldn't quite figure it out. And now I can't remember why, but he explained it to me and it made a huge amount of sense and was it was relevant. Okay. And now I can't remember what it is. The only thing I can think of is, uh, he didn't is, natural, get... is natural order only a green card? Is that the card I'm thinking of? Um, but that doesn't change. No. But anyway, well, I think maybe he was playing oh, like yeah, me pyroblasting him. Okay. Oh. Because I have pyroblast, so he like names green so that I can't pyroblast his painter servant. Oh, okay. I guess you would. But then, yeah. but then the second he knows he's going to get a second one. Oh, no, that's what it was. It's got Force of Will. If he knows he's playing against Force of Will... Oh, that's and hilarious. And he's blue, then it makes my Force of Wills better. You can because, just pitch a land. Because I can yeah. just pitch a land. Yeah, wow. So it makes my forces better. So the first painter said, he named Green. I said, why are you named Green? And, and then he knew he was going to be able to eventually resolve a second painter servant because he's got all these ramps. Yep. 
um, and he just plays it a bit patient. Second pen of seven, he names blue, <laughs> and then because because if you name green, the grindstone still works. Yeah. Even if it's green, it doesn't say blue. So if you name blue, it makes your reps better, but it makes your opponent's force of wheels better as well. Yeah. So if you don't have your reps in hand, you name green. <laughs> Isn't right. that an interesting little interaction for anyone who wants to play? Oh wow, right. lots of lots of mana being turbo there. So oh um, look, we're into turn two. Yeah, so bad. Simon has could have played a moon turn one, but well, I don't know if he has one, but he could have. He had the mana for it, so he takes two from the tomb. These are both pretty fast. Blood decks. Sun, Blood Sun. Do you mm. think it's going to be relevant? Have you seen that in Legacy? Uh, I mean, in this matchup, probably not. I don't um, think I've ever seen this matchup. No, no. I don't think anyone, has anyone I've, ever seen this? Has this matchup existed? I don't know. This is, I reckon yeah. this is the first time because the mono red sneaks. Yeah. Blood Sun's just yeah, it, interesting card to play in Legacy. Really, I mean, obviously against lands and turbo deaths. I mean, there was lands and turbo deaths today. Yeah, at, at, we've already and, seen it. In and one and two death and taxes. Like it, Blood Sun's not bad. Like it, I don't know. That's it's interesting. It does switch off those things and it switches off fetch lands as well. Yeah. Good. I'm sure there's a whole plethora of other cards that um, lands we're not thinking about. Yep. It, it also switches off City of Traders, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, so you can play your own City of Traders. Yeah. I'll take advantage of that. Yeah, it point. makes your City of um, Traders better because you don't have to sack them. Mm, so good. I like that. What have we got? We've got <laughs> Sneak Attack. Bang. Sneak Attack, okay. And the Simeon. Ooh, and the Simeon. You can see, this deck can be explosive. You've got Ooh, Ancient Bristol. Tombs, Lotus Petals, Simeon Spirit Guides. Mm. That is a quick grizzle daddy. And that. he's already sinking in. Yep. Although Ether Swan Canner says he can't play more than one spell turn, is that correct? That's correct. He hasn't because so he's exiled he spirit guard. Because he's only played the sneak attack technically. So because mm -hmm. um, the Gristle Boy is um, he's just sneaking into the battlefield. He's not not actually cast with all those mountains, right. obviously. There's a mountain for turn. Um, and another one? I want to uh, see Emrakul. Emrakul. Give me the Emrakul. Ooh. Ooh, we, well, we definitely no, can't. I want to see Inferno Titan. <laughs> Yep, that I want to see Inferno Titan kill Ether Swan Cannonist on the ETB <laughs> and then play another Lotus Petal on the pool. That's what I want to see. Beautiful. How cool is this deck, Jackson? I dig it. What do you give it out of 10 in terms of coolness? Uh, um, that's that's tricky. I'd say I'd give it a firm... I'd say I'd give it a firm 9.5 out of 9 .5, 10. 9.5, 9.5. Yeah, so that's one word. It's yep. a pretty good one on turn three. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's, yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, so that happened. Uh, he, lot, lots of things wow. snuck in turn three. I'm struggling to keep up here, man. I was still going on my little rant about Painter's Servant. Yeah. And I look up, and Simon's already won. Yeah. And now we've got to talk about sideboards. Okay. What um, the hell? I, don't, I can't even comprehend sideboarding with some of these decks. So, so we got, uh, on the side of... Oh, where are we at? Yeah, so we've got Four Surgical, Blood Moon, Ensnaring Bridge, Pyroclasm, Stuffy Doll. Mm. What? Stuffy Doll. And it says in brackets, I love Jank. Okay. This is Vaughn, by the way. I'm yeah. uh, Grim Lava Mancer, Engineered Explosives, Torment Script, Duriga Hedge Mage. I don't know if you've seen that card. That card's <laughs> sick. And Sorcerer Spyglass. Um, look, honestly, I didn't even... But, bridge? But, bridge, maybe? Bridge, bridge seems good. Blood Moon seems pretty bad. Um, Thomas Creep's bad. What's Stuffy Doll for? I don't know. So, um, just, you know. Is it like maybe you want to run that card? <laughs> is it that you can like Goblin Welder into your bin and then like a Deradiate slash Goblin Welder into your bin and then Goblin Welder it back out and like block a Death Shadow <laughs> and they take like whatever, 13 damage or something? I, I don't know. Um, look, it, Bridge I think is definite. Bridge I is just great. Sorcerer Spyglass naming sneak attacks a good yeah. one. And yeah, Spyglass is good. Juriga Hedge Mage. I don't know if you guys know that card. It, it, it might not be the card I'm thinking of, but it's I think it's two for two and red or white for two two goblin. And if you have two mountains, you can destroy an artifact. If you have two planes, you can destroy an enchantment. So obviously, if you have two plateaus, you can destroy an artifact and enchantment and get a cheeky body. Um, <laughs> so it's oh, actually like yeah. a pretty cool card like three mana to destroy an artifact in enchantment and get a body is, is pretty good yeah i wonder how i found it okay so i've looked it up it is two i just explained it oh okay jackson was i, thought, I thought you weren't too sure all uh, right no sure. i was being <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> okay i should shouldn't have doubted your knowledge back jackson was i've never heard up. of that card before 
until right now. So. It's because I got like a sick promo foil one, I think, and yeah. I always wanted to run it. I was like, oh, the card looks. Like, I love the artwork on it. I love the the you know the value, but I've never found a deck for it. So I'm glad Vaughn's found a list for it. Imagine imagine going to mage school and specialising in hedges. Like, I don't know. That would Hedge just mage. be. I just just not sure if your parents would be too happy about that. <laughs> Incinerating but... fire or great hedge control. <laughs> hedge control. So someone's got <laughs> three Trinisphere, three Pyroclasm, four Leyline of the Void, two Defense Grid, two Abrade, one Pyroblast. Now, um, I think the Abrades are very good. Yeah. Because yeah. they hit Painter Servant and they hit um, Grindstone. Yeah. So I think they're definitely coming in. There's an argument, to be honest, to be said for every single one of your sideboard cards, except for Pyroblast, even um, Pyroblast. There's literally an argument for putting all 15 cards into your main board because so they just all jam just... 75 is what you're saying, back here? Just just jam 75 game two. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, no, I've got no idea. What I'm saying is I don't know what Simon will side in, but yep. he could side in any or all of them or none of them because I think the braids definitely. Yeah. But, like, you don't need Leyline of the Void. It can be good. It switches off Goblin Welder, which is, like, a really cool part. Not just cool, but powerful part of Horn's deck. But he also doesn't need it to go off. Yeah. So, like, the last thing you want is to fill your deck with bad Leylines that you can't cast. So I don't think he'll run Leyline. Yeah, yep. Um, and then the same with, like, Defense Grid. Like, yeah, he can Pyroblast you when you're going off if he's got a painter servant, but I feel like you'd just rather more copies of your combo rather than, mm, like, defense grids to help protect your combo. Because yeah. he's a combo deck too, so, like... Defense grid is probably not, right? Yeah, I, I don't like defense grid. I don't yeah. like my line. Pyroclasm hits... No, it doesn't, because painter servant's a 1-3. Yeah, he's a 1-3, right. so... So, so Pyroclasm hits during a hedge mage, which obviously Simon will be very scared <laughs> of. No, yeah. Um, Pyroclasm probably not coming in. <laughs> Trinosphere, I also think probably not coming in. Um, yeah. What's What's your thoughts on it, Kobe? Okay. Kobe, <laughs> she just wants us to be playing fish. Yeah. Okay. So Trinosphere, I I think you could put it in because Vaughn's on a combo deck. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. But I mean, you ramp it out turn one, and it kind of buys you. Yeah, a but few like turns, so. But. But yeah, it's he's not, also not running like Force of Wills. I think that's like Force of Wills and Preordains, that's when Trinisphere is good. Yeah. Like, I'd be happy to like pay three for Grindstone and then untap and win next turn, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds alright. And, and Pyroblast, nah. So yeah, I reckon two of Braids. Yeah, Braid, fantastic. Braid's in. Perfect, you know, you perfect card for this match. You don't want to hurt your own, your, your own, like, slow yourself down either. Yeah. Like, you want to be keeping in his Chalice of the Void. I think they're going to do more than. Um, Trinosphere is, and you want to keep a massive, massive like creatures, mana, mm. and the actual combo itself. I do appreciate how similar the sleeve cover is between the two decks as well. Um, both running blue sleeves, but not running blue magic cards. So interesting. That's, that's a purple, right? Is it? Is it purple? Or purple blue? Am I? It could be I the shadow. Blind? I don't know. It could be the shadow. Yeah. I'm not mm. sure. All right, we got a mulligan from Vaughn. <clears throat> Let's see if Simon's going to be uh, full sneaky, you know, turn one, turn two this game. Turn one, turn two, one. Turn one, I don't know. T t can he do turn one Emrakul? Probably could. Uh, Sydney, three Lotus Petals. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. I mean, honestly, <laughs> the Sydney Spirit Guides are like the same as Lotus Petal, right? Oh, so true, like, true. Yeah. They're actually almost better when you consider that your opponent's running... They can't interact with um, Ether Swan Cannabis, right? Yeah, that's true. And you can't counter it. So, um, so I saw Lands and Spells. I saw Ancient Tomb, Mountains and Spells. Blood Sun. So yeah. I think it's a good hand for Simon. Yeah. Another thing is, sometimes a turn one Blood Sun. I mean, if you just... Uh, did, was Vaughn running fetches? I can't No, remember. he it was not. Be. Okay. I, he might be, but I didn't see any. I think he probably wouldn't have too many. Yeah, okay. I think that um, Simon... Probably kept in. I think he's only got one blood sign, and it's probably okay. more for his own ancient tomb and yeah. city traders. Yeah, seems good. That's where he gets the scry. And it switches off the ancient tomb by thirty, right? Um, hmm. Is it? I believe so. I'm not sure. 
Uh, I'm city not sure. <laughs> okay, city and... It's a traitorous game. Whoa. Okay. Into grindstone and different art grindstone. Um... I right. believe it, I believe they're both grindstone. Okay, so he's just messing with us. Okay. Maybe it's so that if they he gets surgical, they miss it. <laughs> they like they surgical the old art grindstone yeah. and then find like two other copies of the old art grindstone and his hey, other. If you've got the mana ready, then uh, you know may as well. I mean, Simon's probably jamming a braid, so it's not not relevant. Um, you know, you can activate one with. With painter's servant, right? And then he abrades it in response, you activate the other one. Could you do that? Uh, well, you can just abrade the painter's servant. No. In response oh. to the activation. Oh, no. But you can activate, re activate the other one. Oh, yeah. But you need a lot of mana, but, you know. I don't yeah. know. It's three to activate, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So he's loading two, playing another one. Um, so we see this classic tap the city of traders for two. Yeah. And then play another land, sack it. Tomb. And it feels bad losing a land, but like he's got access to at least four mana. City's so giving him four, yeah. That's good. So six mana by turn two. And bridge. bridge. Okay, that's going to be change the game up. I don't know what Simon's got for that. I mean, we've got the abrades in the sideboard. Yeah. But there's only two copies. Yep. I don't know if he's got much main board for it. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Um. Yeah, what do, you, what do you do against that, Grass? Um, uh, no, wood, no, oh, Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus. There we yeah. go. So he can play yeah. Woodfall Primus with a sneak attack, mm -hmm. oh. and it and it die uh, when it enters it. That's Cut. actually really cool. So when yeah. when it enters, it destroys non creature permanent. So you hit the wood the ensnaring bridge, then you swing, and then it dies to the sneak attack, and then it triggers persist. Beautiful. And you get it, so you get a five five trample and two triggers. Love it. Really For good. one red. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Of course, we forgot about um, Legacy All Star Woodfall Primus. So. Yeah, that's right. Well, I remember for Highland, the day of uh, flashing in Woodfall Primus, you get the same ability. <laughs> he enters, dies to flash, persist, re enters. Oh, beautiful. You get two triggers and a 5 5 trample for two mana. <laughs> yeah, flash is a pretty good Trinus magic card. Spear. So he didn't. Suck. He's got one main board, Trinus Spear, one sideboard. And mm. I. To be honest, I would have cited out my Trinosphere, mm. but we'll see how it goes here. Yeah, so... Yeah. I think Trinosphere definitely does things, but I don't think it switches off, so you're still going to be scared of your opponent like going off. Like Vaughn can just play Painter Servant there and then untap and activate for three. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like It's not it's not going to ruin his day necessarily. It depends how the hands line up. Sneak. Feels pretty good here though. Woodfall Primus, here we go. Or Bristlebrand. That's it. I want to sleeve this deck up. You say that every round so I know. far, but and I want to sleeve both of these decks up. Legacy is uh, just a great format. The issue is I just want to play everything. So yeah, trying to do that. Okay. Can't do much, mate. Can't do much. Okay, take <gasps> a lot of damage there. Uh, that's that card. Blood. That's the card. Sun. Oh, okay. There's things. All right. Oh, I, yeah. Blood Sun stops the damage. Damage we thought. We, okay, so he's Gristle Branding in a turn. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yep. I like this. Draw seven, try to find four Primus. Yeah. Brave. Can draw 14 if he really wants to. Oh, uh, yeah. But he would. That he wouldn't attack, but yeah, Woodfall Primus is really what you want. Otherwise, yeah. you kind of well, if you hit a brain milled. What? Sorry, what is that card that Ron played? Painter Servant. Is that Painter Servant? Yeah, I think so. I can't tell. Yeah, it's either Painter Servant or some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh card. No. Well, then you got to go for it, right? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I think well, Simon's got to go hard, right? Because otherwise. Bad things are going to happen. See, this is the the, the, the Trinsky is almost hurting him more because he wants to play like Lotus Petals and other things and like true play a braid and you know do other like I, I feel like the Trinsky is not where you want to be in this matchup. Mm. As I said, it can hurt Born if he's got a handful of pyros, but like he can still just win through Trinsky pretty easily. Mm, oh, I completely forgot about the bridge. Yeah, okay, so Bruce Brown obviously can't attack and he can't draw a 14. Um, hmm, it's interesting. 
Okay, so yeah, are we? Yeah, I think I, I really want to find out about that blood sun because Marcus. it makes a big difference if they've been paying live. Ooh, a braid. So he's got the braid. Wow, that one. Okay, so he's favoring the drawing extra seven, but he over still, the fear of the combo. What do you mean? So oh, I agree with that. He could have, oh, you you reckon the bridges are out cold? Yeah, I think the bridges are out cold. Yeah, because now you can just drop like three. Oh, he doesn't have other things. Yeah, I was gonna say you can just drop like three big dudes and kill him, right? Yeah, but okay. he didn't have three big dudes. That's so now he's gonna pay seven life, try mm. to find four farmers. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I, mm. I don't know. That's weird. There's a weird sort of sequence. There, I think he doesn't, to be honest, he doesn't have too many braids. So he yeah. knows, he knows he literally has to kill, like he can't, he cannot win. It doesn't matter what Vaughn's got in hand. He cannot win if it's no bridges on the battlefield. That's true. So he just says. So that's, yeah, that's true. So he just says, I, I'll get rid of it now. That's a really good... See, that costs three. Yeah, it costs three. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Trinisphere is not good. I no. don't think you should run it. Like, I think you should run it, but not... I think you should side it out. Do you would fall promise your own Trinisphere? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, hmm. Obviously, not losing is better than hitting, hitting Bridge, but uh, yeah. he must have just been hoping to hit... Um, another abraid mm. off the Grizzle brand. Yeah, yeah. Braids are really fantastic. You can't Cyborg swing if the bridge is in play, so you can't draw the extra seven, right? Mm. So it was like play a braid. It means you get to draw seven cards as well. That's good. I reckon if he had it, he would have been slammed it, which tells me <laughs> he doesn't have it. Yeah. Okay, discussing something to do with the life totals. Obviously, um, I imagine Simon would prefer to be on eight right now as opposed to seven. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Mm. So I'm not sure if they um, if they took damage off their tombs. Mm. I feel like they've been taking damage off their tombs through the blood time. I don't, don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, it definitely switches off... Uh, City. So. Okay. So with sorting through Sun's graveyard. Okay. All right. So Vaughn is deciding what to do here. <clears throat> Does he? He's going in for the attack. Six. We have the third tomb. He passes back. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. So he's activating an upkeep. Takes four. Imagine if Simon just bolts him in response, even though it doesn't have a bolt. <laughs> um, all right, so he's activated it in upkeep. Simon is deciding Inferno Titan Thor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 would that have... Did he have oh, a red? Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah. Hang on. No. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh. So. Oh, oh, no. Okay, he had three simian spirit guys. In. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I was sort of looking at his blood something. Why did he not just uh, do the blood something in the main phase? Yeah, so is it because there's emeralds? Oh, wow. He had this. It, he had the Simeon Spirit Guard though, so he would have been able to flash it in anyway. But I guess Lord would have known that. Yeah, and so, um, someone's got emeralds as well. So I don't know if Lord knows that. Yeah. Huh. It's interesting. Well, anyway, that was a pretty incredible finish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what a cool. Both of those decks are so cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We're Adelaide Eternal. 
and uh, that was round three. Yeah.